More than 100 student teams from across the country have descended in Detroit for the 2017 Shell Eco Marathon. They are here to show off their ultra fuel efficient vehicles that they designed and built and of course to race them. There are two vehicle classes to choose from, prototype or urban concept. First, I visited the team at the University of Michigan to check on their battery electric car. Okay, so this year we're really excited. It's the first year with two cars. We have an internal combustion engine car and a an battery electric vehicle. Um, we use a two-year design cycle, so this is the second year the battery electric vehicle has seen competition, and this is the first year the internal combustion engine vehicle has seen competition, and it will come back again next year. Um, we're really excited. Last year we got 2,500 miles per gallon electric with the battery electric, and we're hoping to beat that this year. Well, what's been the most fun part for you? Um, it's actually been getting to meet the other teams. It's definitely been one of my favorite things. It's really cool to be able to interact with students from Oregon State and Caltech all in one roof in Detroit. Um, they're around like, oh no, we need a new fire extinguisher. It's, it's constantly, you have time to just get to meet everyone and to really see the struggles they're going through are the same as yours and to connect, um, which will be great in the future for like having friends in other places. Now, why did you guys choose battery electric? Okay, so initially, we in the, historically we've been an internal combustion engine team and last year was our big switch to battery electric with this car. Um, we've been having a lot of challenges with switching from a different competition to Shell Eco Marathon, and we also thought that battery electric was a lot more of the way of the future. We've seen a lot of, we have a lot of internal combustion engine cars in our area at home, and we really thought it would be helpful for someone to try to do the battery electric car. So we're also excited to bring back the internal combustion engine vehicle, and it's gotten a lot more, um, we have electronic control unit, a lot more aspects. Um, but the, the battery electric, we really wanted to power the future, and we really think it's going to be the way to do it. Three energy sources are available, battery electric, hydrogen fuel cell, or internal combustion, which includes compressed natural gas. Later on, I visited the team from Kettering University in Flint to check on their car. We gave it a really nice shine job. The carbon came out great. Um, our steering, we had to switch out uh, in the last week, but that came out good despite the fact that we have a heavier steering system, so our weight is a little bit decreased. Or increased which is a, is a negative for us um, so the car's staying a little heavier than we would like to right now uh, but it's our first year we honestly for having a first year car it's beautiful our, we worked with a sponsor to, to do their carbon fiber um, i would like to give credit to the university of sherbrooke team beyond uh, they gave us our mold uh, so they designed the body uh, and we're giving them all due credit we possibly can uh, so it's a beautiful body that they designed we took their mold and made beautiful parts with it with our sponsor um, just really happy how the car came out generally. And right now we were having some issues with the braking. Um, thankfully Duke EV uh, came through huge for us and gave us a connector that we really needed. Uh, other than that, we would not be going to technical inspection today. Uh, so now we have a working braking system. We were just over here on the ramp that they have test ramp over here. We should be good for technical inspection there. Putting a few last things on it. So we're just getting ready to uh, go through tech. What's been the most fun part of this? Oh, uh, it's hard to say. Honestly, we thought everything was smooth rolling. So like when we actually hit problems, scrambling, even when the emotions are a little bit high, uh, just coming through with a solution. Probably the best moment, we just locked our brakes over here on the ramp. That was the first time we cheered as a team and that felt really nice to actually have, it, have a win for sure to know that we're, we, we should be good. Teams must complete 10 laps or six miles with the minimum average speed of 15 miles per hour. The time requirement is 24 minutes. Then, I stopped by the team from Plymouth Canton Educational Park, better known as PSEP. Uh, so this year we have uh, an electric vehicle. Um, so I guess some cool things about our car is we use uh, 3D printed um, circuit housings for our boards. Uh, so that was something that was fun to make. Uh, so we decided on electric mainly because uh, we all have uh, an interest in software and electrical engineering. And also we got a sponsorship from uh, Yazaki, which uh, does wiring harnesses and such. How would you say driving one of these is different than maybe driving a regular car? Well, people don't typically drive a regular car laying on their back, so that's definitely something that you have to get used to. And also just being so close to the ground can be kind of intimidating and you know 
you built it, so you have to trust it, you know. So, yeah, it's definitely a rush. It's a lot of fun. Attendees also had the opportunity to build their own saltwater model car, sponsored by Shell. Then they could race against their friends on the track. Finally, I stopped by the team from Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo, California. This year we really focused on trying to get the reliability um, up because, you know, in the past, you know, we've had a cool design, but it was kind of unreliable sometimes. So this year we really focused on trying to get all the parts reliable. You know, the steering doesn't break down, the drivetrain's stable. Um, you know, we had a lot of testing this year, um, trying to make sure that everything's reliable and it works great. And, you know, we've been slowly improving little parts um, to just get it that little extra few miles per gallon. Talk to me about your powertrain choice and why you decided to go with that. Okay, so we run a gasoline prototype um, and we've run that for, I mean, since we started coming to the competition in 2007. I mean, we like running gasoline uh, fuel um, because it's the most competitive division in here. You know, the Ball, Toronto, and a lot of the top schools are also running in that division. So we run gasoline prototype for the challenge and the competition. Now, how does it feel to be here in Detroit amongst all these other teams that are here? No, it's great to be back. Um, you know, all the other teams, it's, you know, really cool to see what other teams are doing, you know, see what we can do better. And also it's, uh, you know, nice to just kind of talk to other, you know, we're all friends now. <laughs> you know, we see a lot of familiar faces if you've been here for a while like me. So, you know, it's good to talk to other schools, you know, see what people are up to, see what, you know, have them see what we're up to. Um, and especially since we have a lot of new members, just kind of see what the competition's like. A lot of the team, you know, they haven't, they've never been to the Shelly Marathon before, so the only car they've seen is ours. So now they have a baseline to compare what our car looks like. Kids had the opportunity to watch a coolant demonstration. The girl is checking the temperature of cylinder liners. The student teams will compete on the outdoor track located behind me in front of Kobo Center. Then it all wraps up on Sunday with the award ceremony at 4.30 p.m. From the 2017 Shell Eco Marathon, I'm Jason Residlo for AmericaJR.com.